Missing the party. Come on. Greetings, tribe, and welcome to Snacking with Ortega. I'm your host of Extraordinary Magnitude Ortega Latrobe, and today we're doing Mississippi Meatloaf. Folks, if you like what we're doing here, the best way to help this channel grow, give us a like, drop a comment, and of course, subscribe. Now, onto that meatloaf. A while back, we did the Mississippi pot roast, you may remember. Anyway, the other night I'm at work, and I completely miss hear what my coworker Raquel said. Don't know what she said, but what I heard was Mississippi meatloaf. My first thought was, oh my God, why haven't I done this yet? So, we're gonna do it now, and here's what we're gonna need some lovely 80-20 ground beef, breadcrumbs, a good egg, one pack au jus mix, one pack ranch seasoning, little minced onion, chopped banana peppers, one sweet mini pepper. We'll also be incorporating a little bit of Worcestershire, salt, pepper, and some banana pepper juice. Get a mixing bowl, put your meat in the mixing bowl, add your breadcrumbs to the meat in the mixing bowl, add your onions, banana peppers, and sweet mini peppers. Take your au jus mix, Add it to the mixing bowl. Take your ranch mix. Add it to the mixing bowl. Take your egg. Guess what you're gonna do with it? That's right, you're gonna add it to the mixing bowl. Gonna add two tablespoons of banana pepper juice. A couple splashes of Worcestershire sauce. A little bit of salt and some cracked black pepper. We're gloved up, and now we mix. I like doing it by hand, because like with meatloaf, meatballs, that kind of thing, you should be able to feel the texture of your loaf to know that you got your proper breadcrumbs, moisture, and all that business going on in there. You know what I'm saying, right? Maybe you don't, I don't know. Read about it. So make sure to get all those breadcrumbs incorporated, that egg, the peppers and onions mixed in real well. The jus and that ranch mix will, uh, as the meatloaf cooks and all the juices get loose in there, it'll all spread out through its innards and get the osmosis going. You gotta love the osmosis. Everything's looking good. It's time to get it in that loaf pan. Now this is just a one pound batch of meatloaf. I've got a four by eight pan that I use. If you wanna make a bigger batch, two pounds, just double everything in the recipe. Or, you know, third it or half it, however much is good for you because it's your food, it's your mouth, do it the way you want to. If you want more peppers, put more peppers. If you want more onions, put more onions. Do it your way, man. It's like McDonald's, right? In the loaf pan. <laughs> we get this pressed down, but keep it nice and even. Now, one thing about this meatloaf that's different than most is I do not have a glaze for it. Uh, I just came up with this recipe. And so, you know, and I thought the banana pepper thing wouldn't really go that good as a glaze. It's hard to admit it to like glaze up like with brown sugar or ketchup as you would normally. So I'm just gonna leave this as a uh, kind of dry loaf on top. But uh, I think I might try and come up with a sauce for it of some sort. I don't know, maybe I won't. Maybe we'll just eat it like this. It's probably gonna be so damn juicy and delicious like this. It won't even fucking need sauce. You know what I'm saying? Do you? I don't know, do you? I know, do you? Huh? Got our oven preheated to 350. Gonna take this foil, put it lightly over the top. We're just gonna do that for like the first 20 minutes or so just to make sure it doesn't get too dried out on top. We do it a little bit of a crust, but I don't want it crunchy, you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? I keep asking if you know what I mean, but do you know what I mean? Okay? Same for the oven with the loaf. Except that's gonna go about 20 minutes. We'll pull it out, take the foil off, drop it back in for another 20, 25. Just let it just cook good and through nice and firm you can slice it up you can have it with some potatoes and some green beans and some corn maybe some bread and butter like tomorrow it's going to be even better because you're going to cut a slice off and make yourself a nice meatloaf sandwich in the morning god damn right that's what i'm going to do if you make it you can do it too i'll be back here in 20. let's pull that loaf out and pop the lid oh yeah beauty about 20 minutes in leaving the foil off, popping this guy back in the oven for another 20 or 30. We'll be right back. That loaf's good to go. We're gonna pull it out of the oven now. And that's a good looking loaf. Yeah. Gonna let that sit for about 10 or 15 minutes just to cool down, tighten up, and we'll be back to get ourselves a good bite. 
Dig it. Yeah, that's a good looking loaf. Now, let's get that good bite. Get in here, get some of that, make sure we get some of the banana pepper, some of the red pepper, some of that nice crust on the outside. Mmm, oh boy, oh, more pepper, you hear? Yeah, all right, well. Oh, that's good, man. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, so glad I misheard Raquel. So glad I heard Mississippi meatloaf. Glad I made it. Now you can make your own too. This is fantastic. Don't have a sauce for it. It could use a little brown gravy maybe. I don't know. I think it's pretty damn good just like this. If you serve it up some mashed potatoes and corn, you little butter, kind of mix it all together, you know, get that, the, the osmosis with the taters, corns and the meat thing. Like, you know, like, like make it like a, a a high class TV dinner where you stir all the stuff together, man. Yeah. Anyway, you can do it the way you want to. You want a sauce? Make a sauce. If you don't, don't. I don't give a shit. This has been the Mississippi Meatloaf. I've been Ortega Latrobe, and you've been snacking with Ortega. Oh, Rico, you son of a bitch!